a video just for prepping our materials before we go into substance. Uh, hopefully you guys can hear me. Uh, I realize on the first or the last couple of recordings that was coming off the internal mic on the computer and the fans running really high because it's doing so much uh, work on processing. So uh, on our last video what we did was kind of the mid torso and also the hind leg here, which is, that's not even the mid torso, that's more of the neck area and then the hind leg. And so what I want to do next is this area and also the wings. And hopefully you guys understand that. Maybe we'll do that one as a real quick bonus. I think that's a really quick one to do. Uh, but let's go ahead and hit uh, Command D. And I'm gonna go ahead and quickly go through this because I know these videos get uh, tiresome and hopefully you guys aren't watching every second of it, but getting some ideas on how to prep material. Again, hopefully this stuff is very helpful uh, for you guys once you start getting into your own model making of your final character prop or research project or even your senior uh, research project on how you're gonna create these things. Again, I want you guys to utilize everything that we've learned in this class uh, to make that. So I'm just using my polygon tool here and selecting that. And so we're gonna go ahead and uh, create a new uh, 2K character, or not character, 2K um, Photoshop uh, form here. And we're gonna go ahead and hit Command V, because I, hopefully, I Command C, uh, Command C, sorry, and Command V to copy and paste uh, uh, that form in there. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this layer uh, that way we can see our alpha channel. Always make sure you have see a checkerboard that indicates that you are um, ready to go. So I'm gonna hit Command uh, T, uh, which is a transform tool, and just go big. Uh, use, utilize every square inch of that, because once we go into substance, we wanna make sure that's nice and uh, clean and that we have enough pixels to work on. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab uh, the wings since those are kind of horizontal also. And we're gonna go as quickly as possible and try to grab this. And you can notice there's a freaking leg in the way, two legs, uh, the same leg, but over overriding uh, our form twice. So uh, we're gonna try our best to copy and paste or use our clone tool uh, to do that. So we hit enter to make a complete loop, uh, command C which is copy and then command V if you wanna know how to command C and command T is just copy and paste. So again, we wanna make uh, stretches as far as possible. Ooh, and did something weird there. Hit enter, hit command T again. Kind of squeeze this in, I'm hitting my option tool. And I'm just gonna try to maybe go more horizontal with this uh, than before. All right. And so this is a this is kind of a weird one, right? Because we have so much stuff um, rolling over it. And if I mean I hate to say this, if if this was our own grasshopper, I hate to say it, we would probably rip off the leg after we've done it, so we can get some really good UV mapping. But this is part of an archive, right? So they actually have this, so they they don't have that res that ability to do that. So. Don't listen to what I said. That was kind of cruel to hurt a poor grasshopper's leg. So I'm using my clone tool over here. And again, you see me sourcing it by hitting the option, clicking over to the right of it. And so we're gonna kind of use both sides, hit option, and kind of clone both sides at the same time. All right, so this kind of gives an even spread of information. Again, I have no idea how we're gonna put this on in substance because we had the same issue uh, once we hit the projector, it's gonna hit the legs. So uh, we may have to put some sort of mask on the legs so we're not accidentally uh, hitting the legs. All right, so you did the so-so job. Again, sourcing from both sides of that thin leg. Now this is a big ass leg, so uh, it's a little bit different. So we're gonna have to source probably a little bit further out. Go ahead and cut in as much as you can way out here and click and drag. Again, I'm sourcing from way out because I have to go pretty big uh, jump in to kind of fill in my material. Okay. 
again, sourcing way out there and trying to get that, that green leg out of the way. It's totally different. I don't even think it's green. It's more of a yellow or mustard yellow. All right, so just keep going in. Do the best you can. Again, if you uh, have your tablet, just keep practicing. This is a good time to practice Photoshop is not easy to do with a tablet, but once you've mastered it, you're gonna be making some serious money. All right, so now what we need to do, instead of 79%, we need to kind of go in the middle because we need to blur these together. Right now, it's really apparent that we're sourcing two sides. All right, so I use my option tool again. Okay, and now we're starting to feather those in together so it's not so obvious that we're sourcing the same material, all right? And so when we do this in substance, we also want to uh, make ridges on this. Some of you, I've seen some, did some really brilliant work on trying to uh, model this uh, in ZBrush for, for goodness sake. Uh, you guys were able to get ridge lines to show up. All right, so I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna hit a Command T and maybe uh, pull that up and then hit, maybe hit Option or hit Enter. And then I'm going to duplicate that Duplicate that layer, and I'm gonna pull this down. And for good luck, I'm gonna hit Command T and whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, try to make this wider. I thought you could make it not do that. Uh, oh, there we go. So hit uh, Command T, you can make it wider. And uh, this is just option, so uh, when you spray it on there, maybe you can do that a little bit better. All right. Um, Again, I'm not gonna show you how to make that soft on the edge, uh, but definitely you guys need to do that. I think that's what takes me so long is try to soften those edges. Um, I bet there's a feathering tool that we can do. Well, anyways, uh, you don't wanna hear me uh, think, so let's just keep going. We're gonna go down to our bottom layer. I'm gonna make this brush a little bit uh, bigger. All right, maybe a little bit bigger than that. I'm gonna go up to 89, I hit my, uh, Option tool, and again, we're taking out all those white highlights that indicate uh, our lighting. We're gonna do our own lighting, right? In uh, Unreal or even in Substance, all right? So I'm just kinda knocking all that white down and at, at the same time, uh, taking out that ridge line. Okay, and again, you don't wanna make mud. You wanna keep as much as those parts and pieces uh, those textures are really beautiful, right? Uh, and so we wanna mimic as much as we can uh, our character, but again, try to uh, soften this out. So I'm at a flow rate of 82. So I may wanna go down a little bit so you can kind of grab uh, both sides with different types of colors. Okay, I kind of like some of that ridge line, but uh, you're not gonna be able to do it. So I would keep those little dots maybe but uh, definitely get rid of this harsh ridge line here. Okay, just kind of get some right, try to make, oh man, and if you, you start getting that double up looking, it definitely looks like you're like a inexperienced clone or you just want to make sure you're sampling from all over the thing so it doesn't look like you're doubling up. All right, again, Try not to make mud. Mud is easy to make. You can actually buy it or get it from the side of the road. So try to do your best uh, with your craftsmanship. Get rid of these hard edges and try to make it look like an organic uh, shapes in here. Again, I'm doing my best to try to get soften that up so we can't tell any ridge lines or any specular highlights or all right. Hopefully you guys will understand what I'm talking about once you uh, start applying these materials. All right, we just wanna make it look seamless and beautiful. All right. Move it up here. Try my best to get rid of that white highlight. Ah, and I'm trying to clone the leg. All right, so don't do what I just did right there. Okay, here's a, the behind here. Again, there's a huge ridge line here. Take that out. 
Take that out. Oh my gosh, it's huge specular. All right, so almost everything is knocked down. We have a little bit of some ridge lines down in the base here, some repetitiveness that we need to get rid of. Okay, just kind of want to get right, almost done. And I'm getting some ideas on how to uh, soften the edge. All right. Do your best. Uh, again, we can paint over this if we've got some really bad ridge lines. Okay, so it's some sort of tonality and some sort of color. Okay, again, we've got to get rid of this leg and I am just gonna go from both sides and pull some color and I'm just gonna go dark Oh boy, there's so much, so much here. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of keep cloning. Don't clone uh, the alpha layer. Okay. Not the not the best. Uh, what I'm doing here, I'm doing really quickly. So you guys definitely s slow down and do a good job. All right, so I'm starting to pull from both sides and trying to meet in the middle. And again, trying to get rid of that green or mustard uh, yellow. Try to blend this. Uh, so it looks like there's some sort of unique, cool texture in there and not to create mud. All right, I think that's pretty good. All right, so I've got a little bit of a highlight there. I have no idea if that's a leg or what that is. All right, so that's a pretty good biomass there. Again, I don't know how we're gonna paint this on there without uh, any issues with uh, painting the leg. So it's gonna be a challenge. That's good reason to learn how to do masking. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go to our select tool and uh, let's use our wand tool. Let's see if we can, our selection tool, let's see. Selection tool. Oh, wow, my Photoshop is about to crash. All right, so uh, I'm not going to do this. I thought there was a quick way to select everything in the scene other than what I have here. Um, I was going to feather this and then see if I could duplicate and feather that, but uh, I'm going to stop it there. Maybe I'll do another recording and add it to this. But anyways, this is our wings and our back of our body. And we'll let's look at what that looks like. So we've taken all the ridges out and made uh, some colorization and also the wings too. All right, so I'm going to stop it here. And again, I may add a real quick uh, video after this showing how to feather this uh, a little bit faster than what we've done before. All right, talk to you soon.